Good morning, folks. I'm here in Solon Springs, Wisconsin, on the north end of St. Croix Lake. A Palmer's Landing is what it's called. And I'm going to do a hike on the North Country Trail today. And I thought I might bring you along for that hike. St. Croix Lake is a very nice lake here. Um, it's 828 acres in size and has a maximum depth of 22 feet. Now I hope this is going to turn out because it's kind of windy out and uh, well we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of fish in this lake. Panfish, crappie, walleye, northern, bass, very nice lake. This is what they call the headwaters of the St. Croix River. And the St. Croix River uh, runs 169 miles before it dumps into the uh, Mississippi River. So anyway, um, hopefully this will work. Let's get started. A uh, nice little picnic area here. I'll just give you a broad little shot. And here is the artesian well, which I will be uh, filling up my water bottle at. So, I'll show you around, and we'll get ready to hit the trail. Nice spot here. And here we are, we're going to fill it up. That didn't take long, did it? come across these uh, turkeys and this one right here in front is kind of almost white that one huh. Interesting. This is a pond right here by Palmer's Landing. And our trees are changing colors. You can see this one has started here. Oh well, that's focusing there. Okay, we're here near the, uh, very near the start of the St. Croix River. Um, the St. Croix River, I believe, is 169 miles long. And um, 125 miles of that splits Minnesota and Wisconsin. It's the border between the two states. And uh, just, just a little bit north of here is where the St. Croix starts. And um, it's a very, very clear river here. Um, looking at this right here, you would never believe it. Um, if you went down to like where Hudson is, and uh, Hudson, Wisconsin, that is, um, Afton, Minnesota, that area there, where the uh, where the Saint Croix River is, there it is many, 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 many times bigger than this, and uh, it does dump into the Mississippi River. Um, not far up there either is the start of the Boise Brule River. Now the Boise Brule River, um, there's a continental divide in here, a divide where the um, Brule River runs north to Lake Superior and uh, this river here, the St. Croix, um, runs south, dumps into the Mississippi which of course goes into the Gulf down there. So it's a 
very interesting little uh, area right here where the uh, where the water runs two different directions in a very short distance. And we'll be uh, heading on up through the Brule, Brule Bog. That's what they call it. There's a lot of boardwalk in here. And uh, that boardwalk is to protect, protect the uh, environment here. And now we're on the boardwalk here in the Brule Bog. Um, this is the longest section of boardwalk. Uh, there, I don't know if I mentioned before, there's 3,500 feet of boardwalk through the Brule Bog here. And uh, I'll try walking a little bit with the camera and see how it goes. I suppose it'll be wobbly. Wobbly weebles. I do have some footage with the GoPro. A very unique area. And this is why I've tried to make vlogs here, but it seems like every single time I do something wrong, something goes wrong. I don't know how this will turn out. Well, I arrived here at the uh, Catlin Creek campsite. I'm going to have lunch here. And I thought I would uh, show you what I brought along today. I, um, I'm using my REI Flash 45 pack. I brought along my camera bag. That's the camera I'm shooting this with, the Panasonic. I brought along a tripod. Um, we got some tin foil here to use for the uh, windscreen. We've got potatoes and gravy and beef we're using. Excuse my shadow. We got some minced onions, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper. Over here in that uh, little mesh bag, we got some toilet paper and some paper towel. We have two bottles of water and then the bottle that I carry that I drink out of. For a cook set today, we're using the MSR Pocket Rocket. And inside there, we have the uh, fuel canister and a bowl, which I won't use, and then the pan for the hot for the water. And then I brought along my GoPro mounted on my chesty uh, chesty mount. And walking sticks, but I didn't need to bring those because I haven't used them. I've been having my camera out the whole time. Um, here we have a spork, a homemade spork. It's a uh, spoon and a fork that's uh, cut in half and welded together. And uh, that's about it, guys. And this is a great spot to be uh, setting up for... Uh, lunch today oh my very nice so let's get started with lunch
I'll tell you what, guys, that thing is boiling hard. I mean, we're talking maybe a minute for two and a quarter cups. I mean, that is fast. Okay, let it set for 13 minutes. Well, it's time to eat lunch, folks. Potatoes and gravy and beef. It's not my favorite one. Uh, this is Backpacker's Pantry, which is what I usually use, usually eat. And uh, But after you uh, know how to season these, you know, like this one, uh, I found out that if I add some garlic powder, if I add some minced onion in there, and some salt and pepper, We'll uh, crack this open. This is set now for 14 minutes. It says 13. I always give it a little bit extra. And uh, we've got it all, uh, we'll give it a little bit of a stir here. I don't know if you'll be able to see in here, but it comes out like mashed potatoes and gravy and beef. So we'll uh, give this a little test. Okay, we're back from eating here. Potatoes and gravy and beef. Well, I doctored it up the best I could. And it says it's a, uh, it makes two servings. Well, so I did eat one serving. And I could survive on it. It's not, you know, that I couldn't. But like I said to begin with, it's not my favorite. And the only way I can eat that is by doctoring it up. That's that. That's my quick review of the potatoes with gravy and beef backpacker's pantry. Well, folks, I'm almost back to the car. Uh, we're going to see if we can get any useful footage out of here. Like I told you before, I've tried to uh, make videos on here before, but they just haven't seemed to work. I want to close out by saying I want to... Uh, Thank you all for watching. I appreciate any comments you may have. And remember, it's a great big world out there, so let's get outdoors and have some fun.